everyone, Tammy Elliott here from the Volunteer Centre for All of Peel and today I'm going to talk to you all about organization and procrastination. So if you're a volunteer coordinator, you know usually that's one of the many hats you're wearing in the organization and if you're a board member, well you're volunteering your time outside of your regular full-time job. So in both cases you're managing a lot of tasks and have to decide which one to focus on. So a really good book I'd love to recommend to all of you is this, this book here called Eat That Frog. It's a hilarious title, I know, it's catchy. And let me tell you, the frog represents that one task that you really want to accomplish. And for some reason, you, you tend to want to procrastinate on it. And yet, it will have the most impact on your work, the most positive impact. So Eat That Frog is a fantastic book. It provides 21 tips on how to eat that frog. In my home here, uh, when my daughter is, has to do a project that will have the most impact on her grade. She'll say, Mom, I just, I just, I can't get to this, this project. It's so big and daunting. And I say to her, honey, just eat that frog, eat it. So it, it's a common term here and it's just a great book. So as I say, there's 21 tips in the book and my favorite is tip number seven, which is the law of forced efficiency. The law of forced efficiency. What that means is you will never, ever, ever have enough time to accomplish everything to do with your job, but you will always always have enough time to do the most important. So that was tip number seven. There are 21 in total in this book. What I did was I actually summarized the 21. If you don't want to go out and get the book, there's also free versions, PDF versions online. I can send you those 21 tips. So feel free to email me at memberrelations at volunteernbc.org. That's my little tip of inspiration today. Remember to be kind to yourselves and to each other.